Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hank. This is episode 127. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I, I am Hank. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hank. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. My brother in the building, special guest in the building, reintroduce yourself to the audience. What it do? This she, the jeweler, man. Got to the point. I wear a number of hats, but I got to the point podcast popping too. What's, what's good, man? Shouts out to the point, well, you know, we all we always are all about pumping the city and pumping the things that are going on in the city. So, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the To The Point Podcast, 215. Now, 100. let's go. We're going to start this thing off right. We're going to do this whole situation because you've been posting these videos late, the last couple of months, and you've been starting them off with reporting live from the city of Philadelphia. You probably love, right. You send, you send me these joints like every day. You might send me one or two joints. Um, yeah, how you, how you feel about them? This is why we about to do a whole topic about this because you did one. I think this is like one of the first ones that you did when you were saying we just you was keeping it clean because you said, "Man, we the stuff." Why do we always have to go outside of the city to make things happen? Why can't we have those things happen in the city? Why do we not have the major record label here? Why don't we have these things here when we got all the talent in the world? So, 100. this is what we here to talk about. I think right. we have a problem with an identity crisis in the city, but. We're going to let you start it off and tell us what you think about that. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to start right here, right? I'm going to say this here, right? First of all, I believe in order to talk about anything relative to this sort of topic in, in, in this city, you have to qualify. You get what I'm saying? You have to qualify, meaning you got to know what you're talking about. You got to come from a certain era, you got to come from a certain element. You get what I'm saying? And I believe I qualify in both areas because I, I, I'm I'm 53 years old, about to be 54. I come from that era when Philly had their own identity and we was big on not copycatting nobody, you feel what I'm saying? And, and pumping the city, right? Secondly, I think I come from the, the element because we was out and about, we was part of the trend-setting element. You get what I'm saying? saying? Mm -hmm. So a lot of the trends, whether the youngins know it or not right now today, that they, uh, what you call uh, recycling, some of it they don't even know come from our era. You get what I'm saying? And they think it's That's brand like new. But that's what happens when you have a lack of education, when you don't right. know who you are and where you come from. This is the problem. That's why I said identity crisis. But go ahead. I'm gonna of let you course. Come. So, <laughs> so I, I say all that to say, in this city in general, I mean, in specific, I can speak towards how I've seen our culture just damn near disappear, right? But as I was doing more homework that's all over the world it's like out with the old and in with the new that's everywhere that's not just here right but one thing I see uh, in this city is we doing a lot of copycat get what I'm saying we're taking other cities slang other cities bop, other cities way of dress, um, other cities way they move, you know, even on the street level. The whole dynamic has changed, right? And um, I, 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 I deemed it imperative to speak about because when you start losing culture, what, what happens or what can potentially happen is you lose identity, like you're saying. So now, I'm going to jump in right there where you at. So we did an right. episode. The last episode that I had did before we took the hiatus was on culture. And stating for those who didn't hear that one, uh, always still available on any streaming platform. Just search hype. You Google my name on there to come right up. We only accept right. five stars here on the How to Hustle podcast. Uh, 
our culture is dead. Our culture is in a bad place because there is an identity crisis and there's a problem across the world, like you're saying. There right. used to be a time where you knew if you looked at a dude, oh, he from New Orleans, or he from LA, he from the North, he from the South, you could just, you, you could, could identify. Uh, you could identify those traits, those, like you said, the slang, the style, all of that. That's you could see silly, it. Dude. It used to be a time when you go, and you know, when you travel abroad and a joke, as soon as you open your mouth, as soon as they see how you dress and how you wear your hat, anything, of your, you know, your swag anything is a dead giveaway. So you from Philly, ain't you, right? You can't tell that. You no can't more. do that now. Yeah. Do be yeah, you can't. Do be from around the corner. You be like, you niggas sound like they from the A. <laughs> and they doing, I had I had I had uh, one of my, my son, my oldest son, mom, on the phone one day in the, uh, on a FaceTime. I was talking to my granddaughter, and she's saying this to me. Such and such and such B. So and so and so B. Yeah, I said B. When the heck we start talking B, that's New York. When we and start talking thing, like that. And the crazy thing is New York been stealing from us for decades. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not with that. I'm not, I'm be honest with you, bro. I'm not with that. I'm 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 pro I'm from Philly. You know what I mean? And I ain't come up in that that type joint, that copycat era. I'ma stay Philly. That's where I'm from. You know what I mean? I think like we have we gotta do a better job of just uh reaching back. I think we got to do a better job, but we can't attack the whole, you can't get everybody. You got to start with at least one or two. Right. And you get you one, two young boys who listen to whatever it is that you're saying, or try to put them up on just some game, try to show them some different things and just see if that works. Cause you can't right. get everybody roaming built. In the of day. Course. So you're not going to change the mindset of the people because the mindset is going the whole other way right. than the way that we talking. Because but the then, whole then, world then, is going man, let me, way. can I interject a question to you? Go ahead. When you say that, right? Um, what if what if the whole thing come around like uh like this here, like like I expected to from my experiences with the young with the youth, right? That they basically shut that down and and and, and they they uh they chalk it off as being you know outdated, old school. Nobody want to hear that old crap. You know what I mean? It's a new day. It's 2024. It's 2023 like that. Copy what, if that one. Be the, what, what if that be the response that you get most of the time? How do you how do you but that's why that? that's why I initially started with that's why I said you focus on one or two. You know who right. you're dealing with before you start dealing with them. Like you said, again, because you're from a certain era, you look at a person and start to decipher all of that by just his mannerisms, his, his mannerisms, his actions, his movements, his style. You start to break all of that down to see if he's receptive or not. Like, same thing if right. we break it down. We break it down to this simple. You in a masjid and you tell somebody, hey, yo, hey, bro, I seen that you was praying and you need to do this instead of that. And if you right. see if they're receptive to it or not, then you know the next time that I, that doesn't stop you from the next kid, the next guy. It might be a grown adult. Right, you, you just know who's too. approachable and who ain't. You just know who's approachable and who ain't. You know that right. it's a young boy who lives around the corner down the street or whatever, your son's friends or whatever, who you have influence over. Who look right, up to you, you, who watch your movements and all that. You focus on those people. You can't, right. that's why I said you can't just go to a random corner and just say, no, nah, y'all doing this wrong. Cause yeah, that's when you're getting all that. Right. You got to go to where it is that you know that the same thing. Just so, so, but what, I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, right, Hank, is that what if they chalk off the whole concept by saying, you know, basically, in a nutshell, what do you intend by that? You intend by taking us back to y'all way of thinking and doing things that's old school when we in a new, we in a new time. Why why can't we just comply to their, what they doing instead of us trying to take them back to our mindset and our because way of thinking that work for the, our era? Because the answer is in the question. You said right. you doing what they doing. You didn't say you was doing what you doing. You didn't gotcha. say you was doing something because that's what you like or because that's what how you feel. Damn, some dudes go. some dudes will grow up here and it's like, yo, the boy really just like he just loved the music from Atlanta his whole life. He just loved right. the Florida style his whole life. And that's cool. Right. Like, so you should probably even if you ain't gonna migrate there, that happens, but that's not everybody. 
That's and one that dude. That's like the fan of though. But nah, hold up, because that's the one dude who had the dreads or something though, or the one dude who had the haircut. That's his own unique style. The style is not unique if everybody's doing it. Like, right. If everybody sounds like they from Chicago, that does the way with here, uniqueness. Right. There's no. There's nothing unique if everybody's. You know what I'm saying. There's nothing right. unique 100%. about that. But again, it's 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 all a, it's a case by case situation because you got to see who's receptive and who's not. You got to see who's willing to listen and who's not. Who's willing to learn. And who's think, you got some people I who feel like they know everything. Right. I so think can't uniqueness. I think uniqueness. Right. To this to this generation is not even a factor. You get where I'm coming from? Is is not as much a factor to them as it is to us. Because you see it in everything, in the music, like we said, in the dress, everybody's sounding and looking and acting and doing the same thing. <laughs> And it's you okay. Three songs. You listen to three songs. It's three different people, and you think it's the same dude. Yeah, that's a problem. But it's okay that these days is what I'm trying to say. Well, it ain't I mean, even a no. such thing as bite. I'm gonna give you an example, right? I'm gonna give you an example. I asked my um my sons earlier. I said, uh, "What's up with Main Man Ride Wave?" Right? You know. They said, yeah, Rod Wave, he hot, you know, he, yeah, he smoked, you know. And I said, uh, but what's up with, with the allegations and the proofs people coming up saying he's stealing other people's joke. music and <laughs> lyrics and putting in his songs? What's up with that, right? You know what they say? Man, he hot, he hot. I had to literally play for them the John Wade took Drake song. We took uh, the whole joint. <laughs> to let them hear it themselves. Then they was like scratching their head, like, I don't know what to say. So I'm saying, is that cool? Because we come up in the era that how you can call somebody hot by using somebody else's creativity. The person you stealing from is hot. You yeah. all you do, anybody can do that. You hear somebody hot and re and take their stuff and use it and make the money too. That's no create. Where the creativity at? Where's the yeah. originality? It's like if, that shouldn't if I go be, with, that shouldn't have no integrity. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's also about the audience that you got. Again, it all goes back to the audience because the music is right. subjective. The eyes, the eyesight is subjective. The perception is subjective. There's right. a right and wrong, but these days that people don't want it to be right and wrong. They want it to be gray. Like, <laughs> right, you gonna walk left or you gonna walk right? Now people want to walk middle, like right. So, like I said, it's all about your audience. Who's the audience that you're trying to deliver that message to? You got to right. read your situation and your surroundings. If this is a non-receptive situation that I'm in, there's no reason for me to give them these jewels. You know what right. Saying? Yeah, that's that's like no that's Wednesday. like any anything. There's no wisdom only... Wednesdays for those kind of guys, bro. Right, <laughs> you only going to reach who you going to reach, basically. Yeah, yeah. But it's just I that concept me. that you asked me about in general. You know, I really, I really, I'm really kind of heartfelt with it because you know you got a whole, you got a whole, you got gentrification going on, right? Gentrification, right? Then you got uh. That what I'm saying, the, the the loss of of culture. The loss of culture. <laughs> so all that combined, when you look up to our city, is not going to be our city no more that, as we know it. No, nah, yeah. We, and that to we, me, that to me, for me growing up here all these years, and always taking pride in our originality and our uniqueness and who we are that'll really be a sting to the heart you get what I'm saying yeah because then you feel like you're a man without a country yeah it's like what, what the, how, how can this happen so easily like everything new ain't good man <laughs> this is what happens when you put people in position to handle jobs that they're not qualified for which is a whole nother topic <laughs> Right. You got bad leadership at the top is how you have bad soldiers at the bottom. And um, that's one hundred too. 
Now we're going to switch it up because now we got a couple of different segments and all of that of how we're going to do the show. This is Get to Know the Jewel. This is Get to Know She. Uh, sponsored by Custom Hustle. Custom Hustle World on Instagram is Custom Hustle Co. On Twitter, we do custom jerseys, custom jackets. You design them yourself. Custom jackets are for the kids and the adults. We do football, right. basketball, baseball, hockey. We got the barber capes if you need those. You cut or do hair. We got the flip flops. We All do kind hair. of stuff. Yo, yeah, the CH3s. So I, be I'm seeing, I be seeing your wheels, your sneaks out there. They, they, oh, they yeah. on point. The CH3s are what I got on the day right there, available in Good all money. colors. We got four versions of the sneaks, those the ones, the twos, and the threes, and the fours, excuse me, the fours are available in all colors. You name a color, we can put it together. Now, Good money. Um, this is Get to Know You. Since we're going to stick with the Philly theme for this one right here, Randall Cunningham or AI, who you going with? Shoo. I mean, this thing like a drink camp, John. Like if I pick both, I gotta do something. I gotta do Ain't something. No pick move. We don't ride no fences. We going left and we going right. <laughs> no, see the reason why is I thought it would be open for that is because you talking basketball and football. Mm -hmm. So but both of them is my favorite. Both of them would be. I would favor both of them on both sides. This is how you come if, up with if, a difficult if, question. If you gave me, for instance, AI, I'm just keeping it vain with you. I like both of them, but that's that's the rough one, man. Come on, man. I need an answer. Come on. I'm going to pick AI, man. Copy. I'm going to pick AI. Pick AI. All right. Now, were you more upset about the 04, what was that, the 04 Eagles that lost or last year Eagles that lost? Which one hurt more? Shoo, another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this ain't drink, champs. I don't drink. <laughs> and, and by this time, I'll be staying out of this joint. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. Which one hurt uh, more? T T I'm going to say, I'm going to say 04. I'm going to say oh. 04 because, I, you know, that's closer to when I was, uh, I was more engaged. I was younger. I'm engaged now, but I was really, really, really in back then. So it kind of really stung. It stung on both ends, but I'm going to say 04. Who is your favorite artist? Who is my favorite artist? Yeah. Do it, do it matter genre or? Not at all. Shoot, okay, I'm going to say... Uh... We went open ended so we can get you the leeway to go either way you want to go. I'm gonna mess around and say, I'm gonna mess around and say something that's, that's out the box that people wouldn't think. But this is this is my based on my opinion and my likes, right? Mm hmm. Marvin Gaye. Okay, and why Marvin? Why we go to Marvin? Because Marvin Gaye was a smooth criminal, right? And that's the type of dudes that are always attract. You know, I attracted to that type of guy. I had an uncle named Cook that was smooth like that, dressed crazy, smooth with the bunnies on the pimp tip, and he was a gangster. And that's what Marvin Gaye gave me that impression. You know what I mean? And but Sam Cook though too, though. You feel what I'm saying? Sam Cook too. Sam Cook was before. I'ma say, I'ma say Marvin Gaye. Somebody, some people thought I said Michael Jackson, but I'ma say Marvin Gaye. All right, so this is the last one of these. Now, this is one where we give you a year. You tell me how old was you and the first thing that you think of when you hear this year. Mm-hmm. Two thousand. Uh Rockefeller. <laughs> yeah. BNC yeah, Rockefeller. Rockefeller run. All right, it's all right. So it's 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 Rockefeller because you threw beans right out there, so it still ties in with the city. Yeah, one hundred. Copy that. <laughs> all right. Now yeah. we close we close the show out with the last segment. That is, what do we need to know? Sponsored by H two H Cleaning. That is H two H Cleaning on Instagram only. Roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVAC cleanups, cleanouts, power washing, remodeling. However, you need that situation. We can make it happen over at H2H Cleaning only on Instagram. Now, um, what do we need to know? What you want to tell us about? You want to talk about the podcast? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm throw it all I'm, out I'm, there for me. Yeah, I'm gonna put it out there, and I appreciate you uh, allowing me to. Right, I'm gonna start right here. Right, we've been independently filming the podcast, filming and recording the podcast to the point. That's to the point two six seven on IG. It's to the point on uh, that's the uh, YouTube channel, and we in the makings of having our own Roku and Fire Stick. TV channel, along with an app that you can download to get, you know, to all of our content, right? But we on, we coming up on episode 70. We uh we planning on at the the 100th episode throwing a shindig, you know what I mean? Uh, We got in the making right now the joint we trying to put together called Knights of the Round Table. It's like a, a, a panel talk. You know what I'm saying? And we going to probably do that annually. And we going to talk about the first one going to be the state of the culture. I'm had people trying to get people like Tone Trump, D1, Umar Johnson. That's yeah, that's my guy too. Uh, Stax, you know what I mean? Like a like a open panel, John, to talk about the state of the culture, right? That's coming soon. We going to launch some merch, our merch in the next week. Oh, so we're going to have merch. We're going to have hoodies, jackets, everything. We're going to have uh, an online store. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be, you could get to it on my IG. You know, hit the link in the bio vibe and go to the store and shop up. It's going to be a conglomerate of different uh, brands, right? All falling under our umbrella. You know what I'm saying? We got the jewels. We got in position. We've been doing since 2012. We got to the point we get ready to launch a girls uh John called uh, uh uh um um cartel bunnies. Uh all this stuff is 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 solidified, it's legal beagle, LLC, patent, trademark. We get ready to pop off with a store. Um we do a number of things, man. You know, we write do the movies. I got a uh I got a uh, a mini series we working on called Jack Moves. Look out for that. Um, a game show. We great launch a game show, hip hop game show, first hip hop game show ever. Hip hop orientated, hip hop based. I be, I believe it's going to become a household thing because hip hop is uh one of the most influential cultures that that is spread it out all over the world. Is, is I think it's one of the most influential things in history. So we, no. we 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 working on that a hip hop game show, and you know we just keeping it moving, man. Working, man. Trying to you know trying to keep the bills paid. You know what I mean. Trying to keep the uh, culture preserved. Trying to keep the people aware. Trying to keep the pull the youngins up. Trying to get us out of this. Uh, genocide mentality we in, you know what I mean? Just trying to uplift the culture, man. That's basically what to the point doing in the jewelers, man. Two things. One, I always messed that up to the point two six seven. Um, yeah, it's two six seven. Say, yeah, and I always say two one five. because you because you throw back. That's why. <laughs> and this is a uh, this is a salute to you though. Um, Cause you gave it, you had a whole rundown right there, and you missed one that I'm gonna help you out with, cause you didn't it, bring this up. Oh, the music. Copy. Just I got my bounce, fault. Just a little, bounce, just a little bounce pass, come off the screen. All right, I'm gonna say this here, right? <laughs> All right, let me go. Let me go in, right? For years since I was uh maybe uh 15, thirteen to fifteen years old. When rap first came on the set, right? Rap, I'm older than rap, so I call me and my man called rap our young boy, right? So we seen our young boy come around. The very first rap, hip hop, the re but I always been involved in the hip hop culture from graffiti, break dancing, rapping, ever since I was a kid, right? Um so I always rap since rap been around. I had 
it used to be for fun when I was a young boy because back then when I was young, it was no such thing as being a gangster and a rapper. If you was a rapper back then, you was a, you was a nut. You was a you was suspect. So I think I was one of the first. I almost know I was one of the first ones that did both, and it was accepted. We used to go to house parties, and if everybody knew my my gang, my gang from back in the day was some of the wildest little niggas on the street at the time. You know what I mean? We going to house parties. We crash in the house. We do, you know, we, everybody knew what it was with us. So sometime we would go in there and it'd be cats on the mic rapping. And my squad would push me up. Go ahead and shut that down, right? And I'd go shut it down. So I always had that, basically. So I left it alone. Like, everybody, you know, it wasn't no thing I was looking forward to until... I kept going back and forth to jail, right? So one year I came home from jail and um, this before the Beanie Siegel running all that, this was back in 90, uh, I want to say 93, 94. I start messing with it again because I start seeing that it was being lucrative money-wise. So I said, man, I could make money doing this and leave the street alone. Get me? I get to playing with it, and I found out it was a lot of Bojangles stuff, a lot of stuff you had to do Politics, to get the door man. that I wasn't, I'm not cut for. So I left off again, went back to the street, went back to jail. Come home, when, when I'm in jail this time, Beanie Siegel, I get a letter, Beanie Siegel gets signed to the rock and all that. I was in jail then. I come home from jail, maybe uh a month later, I'm up there with Beanie Siegel and the Rock, Jay-Z, they ain't all them niggas. Beanie takes me up there, been, was taking me up there with him. I'm still not decided. I'm I'm really, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was religious. So I was leaving music and everything alone about being religious and you know it's haram and this and that. It was a struggle. So I wasn't doing it. And I knew how to do it at a high capacity. So much so that my kids, nobody, none of them ain't even know I know how to get down. I, you know, I, I never even mentioned it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, time evolved, things happen. And I get to the point today where I've seen uh, sort of an open door, like the independent thing and all that's going on. So it 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 sort of it sort of uh, it's a different way to get the message out. Yeah, it was sort of tailored for a cat like me, because I told you I ain't boat. You know, we ain't, I ain't, I'm a I'm a boss in my own right. I'm not a bojangle dude. I can't comply to certain things or compromise certain things just to you know you know what I'm saying what the, yeah what I can't the compromise entails. I can't compromise anything to get something that you want to get right me. exactly <laughs> so when I seen that when I seen that open gate it was like a light bulb like damn I'm gonna take another stab at it on an independent tip to just try to try to get some money I never was concerned about nothing else but the bread, not no fame and not no this and not no that, right? So that's what brought me back around today to popping off a little bit, sneaking ahead, sneaking it there. But I, I'm, I'm angling for some paper with that. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I do it. And I do it at a, at, a, at, a, at a level that a lot of jokers don't do it on. That first joint that you put and it was like supposed to be anonymous. I'm like, who this nigga think he playing with? Like, I don't know this. Is him. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's the it's the, again, it's the cadence. You yeah. hear the cadence and it's like, uh, especially if you know somebody, if you right. know somebody, they can't disguise their voice from you. One so it was like, yeah, it was like, come on, no, I know this one is you. I'm gonna play along. I ain't gonna just say <laughs> that in these comments. No, because <laughs> I had the whole thing I was yeah. gonna do with that, like. If a hey. joker guess who it is, they get a prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I man. But 
Hey, um, but you, you know, know I know is. people. You know, I'm in. You know, I'm doing working with some people, man. Yacht Strickland, my guy that I'm working with, is working with me. He just produced. Uh, he wrote. He wrote. He co-wrote and produced. The boy Jay Brown, you know the the, the singer R and B singer Jay Brown. Yeah. You heard of him? Yeah. He he wrote that album, wrote and co-produced it. Yon Strickland. He working on just finishing up Jill Scott next album that she about to drop. He co he produced that. This the boy that worked with me with my sounds. So and he, you know we old friends. We oh you know from way back when I was doing it. All right, so that means when you get ready to drop a six pack or something, then that joint better be tight, and we need to get you back oh. on here to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that you say better be tight, right, makes me think that you guessing. <laughs> you, I'm, you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm gonna ask my youngin now: Is it tight or not? Because if that's it ain't tight, we, I'm gonna stop. That's no, nah, no. Nah, we want like the fire under you. We want you to go in and say this joint is hot, but I got something even hotter. You know oh, so well, that when it, well, so well, that once it, ain't heard nothing yet. So I only be giving y'all little snippets of this so and that. So once it drop, once I got, it drop, I've got about a hundred joints. Copy that. That's All what right. I like to hear. That's, yeah, that's what I like to hear. So when you get ready to drop, you let me know, and you know what I'm saying we make that another episode. One hundred. Oh, I appreciate you coming on. That's episode one twenty seven. Sound like a monk. Wait, so I appreciate you. We gonna tap back in too, man. Ain't no doubt. Send me, send me, you know, when we get to doing this, moving this around. We are out. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up.